Hi, I'm Vespers. I'm a dance music producer and a live performing artist. And this is the first of three videos where I'm going to introduce you to Sugar Bites Vogue. Vogue is a channel strip. And rather than giving you a dry run through of the features and just explaining what everything does, I'm going to demo it live in a track so you can see exactly how I would use it when I'm producing. And we're going to run through using it on a bass line, on a drum loop, and on vocals. This is the track we'll be using it on. So this is Vogue. Vogue is a channel strip plugin, which is basically a collection of different types of effects and utilities that you would commonly use on an audio track to have a high level of manipulation over the sound, all conveniently built into one streamlined interface. Now, the reason why this is so convenient and so important, I'd like to demonstrate to you. And so what I've done here, I'm actually in live version 8, and just to show you what you would need to do to be able to achieve the same effects as with Vogue, I've actually loaded all of the different plugins that basically would create a similar type of uh, control over your sound to Vogue. So as you can see, we have a gate, we have saturator, we have a compressor, we have a three band EQ, we have an auto filter, and we have simple delay and reverb. That's seven plugins, and that still doesn't even cover the full range of possibilities that Vogue can handle for you. So basically it streamlines uh, you know, all of these different features and effects and plugins all into one nice consolidated interface. So the first part of this track we're going to work with is the drum loop. As you can hear, the drum loop has a lot of reverb on it, lots of decay, and I want to create a completely different sound. So the first thing that I'm going to use is Vogue's built-in gate to start to eliminate some of those decay tails. And by default, you can see the gate here is grayed out, so I toggle the gate on and off by just activating it down here. And with the gate, we have basic threshold controls and a slow fast knob. So let's just play with those settings to see if we can get the sound that I'm looking for. There we go. So it's creating a nice gated effect on that drum loop for us. The next thing I'm going to do is add some grit to the drum loop and we're going to use the preamp section of Vogue here. So a couple things to note. First of all, uh, really important in uh, any kind of music is to cut out the extremely low and inaudible frequencies that tend to rob a lot of your headroom out of your tracks. And when you want your tracks to be as loud as possible, you really want to eliminate the stuff under about 30 hertz or so, that super low frequency range that you really can't even hear, so it's useless. And this built-in high-pass knob is extremely convenient for doing that because you don't need to add in an extra EQ or filter. So it's just set up there, it's on by default, and I'm just going to trim this up to about uh, 30 hertz to wipe out the extreme inaudible low end from this drum loop. Next, it has an overdrive function. So it works like a regular preamp. It's got gain, it's got overdrive. I'm just going to use the overdrive to dial in a little bit of grit into the drum loop. As you can see, I'm playing with the gain as well because when you add overdrive to something, it increases the volume level, the amplitude of it, and you want to be careful not to trick your ears into thinking that something louder is better and also messing up your audio levels. So when you add overdrive, it also very conveniently allows you to dial down the gain to counteract the increased amplitude from the effect. Really convenient. Next up we have the compressor, and just before I move into that, we should definitely let you know that down here you can toggle on and off each one of the sections of Vogue so you can use all or as little as you want and uh, that's important because it gives you just control individually over each aspect of it. So 
one of the things now that we're going to do is ensure that our drum loop is loud as possible. So we're going to use some compression to be able to do that. And I like this compressor because it's just a, kind of an idiot proof compressor. It's very basic. It just has the amount of compression and a slow fast knob. So we're just going to dial in some compression here and we're going to keep an eye on our level meter to see how much compression is actually happening and go by ear to uh, get our loop to sound nice and loud. As you can see, as I'm turning the knob, you can actually see what it's reading at. And that's helpful because for compression, a lot of times, especially on drums, uh, I usually dial in using some sp very specific settings. I usually like kind of a, an attack and release around somewhere between 30 and 50 milliseconds to preserve, preserve the transients in the track. And this allows me to not only visually see on the knob where it is, but also to very exactly see where uh, our settings are actually coming out at. And also here we can see basically where the, looks like where the threshold is. And we can see visually on the meter as well how much compression we're actually getting. So I don't want an extreme amount of compression here. I just want a little bit of compression, nice fast settings to preserve the transients in the loop. The next section in Vogue is the Dynamic EQ, which is basically a combination between a multi-band, three-band compressor and a three-band equalizer. And I'm not actually going to use this here because I don't really feel like we need to EQ the drum loop at all. So I'm actually going to deactivate this and I'll show you how this is used on one of the other tracks later in the tutorial. The last module of Vogue is the effects module. It can be toggled on and off globally here or the individual effects actually each have on and off buttons associated with each one. And what we have first is we have a filter. The filter can be toggled between a band pass, low pass, and high pass. And it can be sent to a couple of different destinations. Here it's off, or we can toggle it to be applied to all of the effects together, which is very useful because oftentimes with delays and reverbs, you want to be high passing your effects or maybe filtering their tail using some mod. And it can also be sent to the entire output. So it would be affecting the dry signal as well as the wet signal of the effects at the same time. In this case, what I actually want to do is I want to be high passing my effects. So I'm going to set this to be applied to effects only, and I'm going to leave it at high pass. Next, we have a modulation matrix where it can be toggled between an envelope follower and an LFO. We have a basic delay and a basic reverb. So what I want to do in this case is I want to add some room sound to my drums. So I'm going to toggle the reverb on. And we have three controls here. One of them is room size. And I like to keep my room size on my drums pretty small. Then the next is decay time. I, again, with drums, I like to keep the decay time pretty low. And then we have a, a level. So the neat thing is you have master control over your effects level down here. But you also have individual balancing control over each one of your effects um, based on how loud you want each one to be. So. We're just going to have a quick listen to this to see how the reverb is affecting the drum loop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial in the high pass filter. And as you can see, the high pass filter is being sent to the effects. And what I want it to be doing is just cutting out the very low end. And I also don't want it to be applying any resonance because I'm really just using it to wipe out the low frequencies here. So I don't want that filter kind of sound. So let's just take a peek to how that sounds. And if we want to hear exactly what's happening just to the effects tail, Vogue also has a really handy section here which allows you to just solo the effects channel. So we can listen to purely what the effects return is sounding like right here. So you can hear the effect of me trimming out the low end on the effects return. One last thing of note is that it gives control over the entire effects return here. So globally, you can increase or decrease the level of your effects. And that's pretty much how I want the drum loop to sound.
DJ Desperate, 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 Desperate,